Sergio Perez's recent slump in performance seems to be a bit bigger than people originally anticipated, and this might have extraordinary consequences for his future. Although his contract was protected up until this point, as Marco and Torna continuously confirmed, there is trouble in paradise between these two sides, and Perez's Red Bull future and potentially his entire racing career are hanging on a thread. The scissors are in the hands of Marco and Torna, and after the latest statement in terms of Ricardo's chances of replacing Perez, they might pull the trigger and do something that would effectively result in a lot of backlash from the F1 fans. Fire Perez. Sergio Perez arrived at Red Bull in 2021, when his career was considered more or less over after his first and potentially last win at the 2020 Sakir GP. However, Red Bull recognized a great partner for Verstappen in the Mexican driver, and that was proven to be the truth in 2021, when the 33-year-old has constantly proven why the team made the right decision to sign him instead of continuing the collaboration with Albon, who seems to be carrying Williams on his shoulders all alone right now. Nonetheless, Perez is now in a much different situation compared to 2021, and this one has been going on for two years, as the veteran driver has announced very early in the season that he is no longer the second fiddle in the team, and he has what it takes to fight for the championship. This is something that even Red Bull fans love to a certain extent, and there isn't a single soul out there that believes Perez shouldn't win a championship in his career, as he stands as one of the most charismatic and lovable characters on the grid. But these two characteristics are not enough for you to have a championship-winning season, especially if your main rival is the generational talent of Verstappen. The Dutchman has slammed his teammate for two seasons in a row, and what he did at the Miami GP this year seems to have definitely crushed Perez's spirit and self-confidence in driving the RB19. After starting ninth, Verstappen was able to take over the lead very early in the race, with his teammate being the leader in the clean air. He even managed to preserve the tyres much better than the Mexican driver, proving that once again, he is the king of Red Bull. Ever since this race, Perez's form has gone downhill, and he failed to reach Q3 in three consecutive races – Monaco, Barcelona, and Montreal. What's even more devastating is the fact that he was nowhere near the podium finish in all three races, and in Monaco he failed to score points as well. Montreal was a final nail in the coffin, in which he had to admit that there is no more pace in the RB19 from his side, and he cannot do what Verstappen does something that has received mixed reactions, both pity and criticism, as Red Bull have officially stated that the 2024 seat is now open. Not only did they announce that, but if we are to follow their pattern with drivers who are performing back such as Kivat, Gasly and Albon, we'd notice that they do not have any patience when the second driver in the team is putting them in a position in which they do not want this car to be in, the second place in the drivers' championship, right behind Verstappen. And for that reason, Red Bull is officially going to test Ricardo's driving skills after the Silverstone race in July for three days, in what is considered to be the biggest opportunity for the Honey Badger to achieve his fairy tale ending of his career, retire with the team that started it all. When talking about this matter, Helmut Marco said, We will have Ricardo in the car for three days at Silverstone during the tyre test, and then you can evaluate where Ricardo really stands. Furthermore, he provided a bit of a stressing news for Perez's contract saying that now he has reached what he originally wanted to, two or three more years of racing in the sport after the disappointing sacking he's received in Aston Martin, as the Austrian veteran continued to speak. His initial goal was two or three years. That would be more than he planned anyway, and you just have to keep options for succession open. So there is definitely an opportunity for Ricardo to hop in the RB19, but the question needs to be asked. Will this actually solve the current issue for Red Bull? Yes, they do have a weak driver in the second seat in the last three races, one that is jeopardized by Alonso's rise in performance and one that might see himself being beaten constantly by Mercedes and Ferrari, if we are to judge the last two races. However, these types of headaches are kind of sweet ones for Red Bull, because they have the leader beating everyone with a large margin, therefore keeping both of the championships safe and secure. Obviously, Verstappen cannot win every race, and there is always this argument in which the car can break and reliability issues could appear for the Dutchman. If Perez continues to go down this road, the team won't have this strong backup that they hoped would always be present in Perez's performance. And considering how easily Verstappen is cruising for the win week in and week out, one couldn't help but wonder, what is wrong with Perez? And does he really deserve this seat over someone else that would kill to prove that they still got it in F1? I don't mean to shame Perez for his performance, the guy won five races with the team, and it is only in his third season for Red Bull. 
considering what his role was in 2021. But if you want to win championships, you just have to be out there every single race. I cannot help but bring up the case with Bottas. The Finn always seemed to be a strong competitor in the beginning of the season, start a bit of drama regarding the championship question, and then suddenly fall off contention. But even with this feature, he managed to finish constantly in the podium places, and unlike him, Perez has the same Q3 appearances as both McLaren drivers and Hülkenberg, a feature that is, in and of itself, a devastating and humiliating one for a driver that has the best car on the grid. And let's face a reality, it's not the car. It would be the easiest for us and for all the conspiracy theorists out there to go and say that Red Bull are yet again pushing the car against Perez with their newest upgrades, with the latest one being brought in in Barcelona. But the Mexican driver said that he is now understanding how the car works, but just does not have the knowledge nor the courage to give it what it needs, unlike his teammate, who is driving like he was born in it. But is Ricardo a Red Bull caliber driver after what happened to his career in the last two seasons? The McLaren tenure certainly wasn't the best one he could have imagined, and the year off he is currently having is definitely taking its toll on his future F1 racing. Not that he cannot complete a comeback in the sport. Look at what Hülkenberg is doing after three full seasons of not having an F1 seat in one of the worst cars on the grid. At least during the qualifying sessions, where nobody hoped to see him as frequently as Perez and both McLaren drivers. However, Ricardo's approach to Red Bull could be an alternative, and if he ticks all of the boxes for the Austrian team in Silverstone, then he might be considered as a replacement for Nick de Vries, an investment that constantly proves to be the wrong one for Red Bull's future. If this scenario happens, then the 2024 seat will definitely be up for grabs. And while 2025 will see some more talented individuals that will have the opportunity to fight with the Dutchman, such as Sonoda and Norris, the upcoming campaign is going to be a very interesting one, if Perez fails to perform under pressure in 2023. And that's exactly what the six-time race winner has done so far, fail to perform under pressure. Whenever he makes these claims that he can be the world champion, he fails to perform as a top two driver and drives like a midfield team is giving him the car, not a team that has killed every competition in the previous two seasons and is doing so in their third consecutive year. While Horner said that the pressure of the championship is now off Perez's shoulders, the Mexican has denied all of these claims and said that he is still in contention, even though he is 69 points behind Verstappen and only 9 points ahead of Alonso who is slowly but surely creeping up that second place in the Drivers' Championship. Do you think that Red Bull will pull the plug on Perez and bring Ricardo back for the sake of the good old days? Let us know in the comments below.